Welcome to the Michigan Department of Education's March's Reading Month activity, Champions for Literacy. My name is Katie Kowski. I'm a literacy consultant with the department, and I'm, I'm here today with Angela Justin. Angela has been an educator for 20 years. She has served with Kalamazoo County Head Start, Battle Creek Public Schools, and Kalamazoo Public Schools. While in the classroom, she taught first, third, and fourth grades. She has been a literacy interventionist, literacy and math coach, and reading recovery teacher. She is currently the coordinator of English language arts, social studies, and library services for Kalamazoo Public Schools. In addition to her work with KPS, she teaches both undergraduate and graduate reading courses at WMU. She has a passion for literacy, teaching, learning, diversity, and equity. How are you today, Angela? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Anytime for literacy, I'm always available. <laughs> Thank you. Um, now, the Michigan Department of Education has put out a document called Celebrating Authors of Color and the Works of Literature. We have that on the department website. Can you please tell me which text from that list you chose to tell us about today? I chose Solway from Lupita Nyong'o. And please excuse me if I've mispronounced her name. <laughs> <laughs> and what can you tell us about that book that you selected? So Solway is a book about a young girl learning to embrace herself and embrace her beauty. She is the younger sister of, uh, of a siblings who are a different hue than she is. She's darker than her sisters. She's darker than her mom and her dad. And so she has to go on a journey of self-love. And so, of course, you know, she she tries to compare herself to her siblings, her parents, and she wants to be she wants to look like them. But through her journey of self-love and discovering that she is just as beautiful as anyone else is, um, that self-love starts from the inside and then it it protrudes on the outside. And so through her self journey of loving herself, it's just a great story about um, loving who you are, loving the skin that you're in. And why or how does this particular text speak to you? So it speaks to me in lots of ways, but I guess the most important way is that I am um, the older sister of two sisters and um, both of my sisters are very much lighter than I am. And uh, my mom is lighter than me. Um, and so when we would all go out, a lot of times people wouldn't think that we were sisters. They thought sometimes we had different dads um, or that I was a cousin because I was darker. And so I even had to go through a journey of loving myself from the inside first and allowing that um, beauty to shine on the outside for myself. And so this book really resonated with me just for that sole purpose, just of being the darker sister, um, the darker daughter, and um, just going on that journey of self-love. Uh, so that's that's why I really love this book. I gravitate toward towards this book all the time. A true text to self connection. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and so kind of you know with that connection in mind, um, as a champion for literacy, can you share with us one idea for using this text either in a classroom or a home environment? Um, definitely for the home environment, it is a book that I always share with. Um, people I know that are having children. Um, and then definitely for um, for a home connection, it's, it's really a book designed about self-love. And so it's how do you embrace yourself and the things that you have to tell yourself to, to make yourself know that you are beautiful and confident on the outside. So people, people that see that beauty in you, sometimes you don't see it for yourself. And so it's a self-motivating book. Um, for the classroom, it can also tie to those same areas as well, because we know some young people deal with self-esteem. We know young people deal with issues of not loving themselves or not being as confident within their themselves and their abilities as others see them. And so having conversations with young people about what, how to pull that confidence out of yourself it's a hard topic to explore with young people. And this book just provides some, some good ideas on that, but it's also a good book just for self-love. And so even if a, a young person is picking this book up and they're reading it on their own, it's a good way for you to reflect about on yourself and think about how am I beautiful? How do others see that beauty and confidence in me? How do I need to pull that out of myself? So it's a great book that can be shared 
among families or just someone to read independently for themselves. I love that. Thank you so much for your ideas. And thank you for your time and passion towards education and being a champion for literacy. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.